<laughs> we are so Sorry. excited here at Madison <laughs> Live to now be welcoming I'll be Lindsay Zorniak to the studio. Hi. Thank you so much for being here. It's so great to be here. This is so awesome. Everything looks so amazing at this campus, by the way, but oh, this wow. studio, wow. You thank guys you, are thank great. you. We try to keep it nice. Try to keep it's it. It's beautiful. Now your career, which has been incredible, started right here in Harrisonburg. It did. And you had a very incredible time here as a journalist here in the journalism school at JMU. Now we actually want to jog your memory really quickly. Okay. We have a couple clips from your time here at JMU. I'm so, so sorry. Let's, let's toss to that. Let's take a look. Please, let's, let's take not. a look. This is so humiliating. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see them on screen in a second. Maybe they accidentally aren't loading. <laughs> accidentally. <laughs> Wouldn't that be so Oh my gosh! <laughs> my <laughs> oh no! I'm Zarniak with this week's music review. Well, if music is what you're asking for this holiday season, chances are the best of U2 1980 to 1990 just might it's be amazing. at the top it's of your list. It's a balloon. It's a balloon. Anyways, we're headed Express. back in the studio. I, this is from Okay, no, but this is so funny because what I wanted Sunday, to be Sunday, initially when I was here was an MTV DJ. No that is like what I, I, this is so funny to me because I was taking it so serious. You can see that. I mean, see how I'm not really altering my face. Right. I'm just very pumped up. Oh my gosh, but I was so excited. <laughs> I was so excited. You too, the best of 80 to 90. <laughs> I know, I'm so sorry for this appearance. That's so bad. No, it's amazing. Oh my gosh. That was so much fun though. I remember this and watching you guys doing what you're doing today. It's like, I remember what that was like and how much fun it was. So what does that make you feel seeing those clips now? Embarrassed. Now looking <laughs> Embarrassed and sad. Embarrassed. No, but um, just really excited about, like excited for you guys because I know how awesome this is, what you guys are able to put together and knowing the journeys that are ahead of you. I mean, I've been saying since I've been here, the path I took, it's crazy. If someone told me that I would be a sportscaster right now, if someone had told that girl that she was gonna be a sportscaster, I would have been like, yeah, no way. Like that would be impossible for me, right? So me watching that, is really eye-opening and I hope that it's beneficial for other people because it's like wow really the twists and turns and you can really do anything that you put your mind to but so when you come back to campus you see that girl in those mm -hmm. clips what's it like now to have a platform to do master classes and to do talks like the one you did last night and to have rooms full of people that want to hear what you have to say God, what is that's, that like? a, that's really nice and that's a good question um, it is it is intimidating when you go in that room because I'm like wow really it doesn't seem like it's been that long but it's been that long I could be your mom <laughs> you know but it's um, <laughs> it doesn't seem like it's been that long but obviously it has and so that's it's weird and it feels a little bit like wow you know but then the coolest part of it is having the assignment sort of to go back over the career and take a look at oh wow look at how that did happen because when people have an opportunity to do that you a I think you appreciate all of it more but you realize how different pieces and different stops along the way have played into each other so for me that's been so cool to be able to be like wow you know yeah when I when I was working in Miami that was the first time I was in a locker room and that helped prepare me for this blah 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 and it's funny because now this is the first time that music has sort of come back into my life a little bit so seeing that clip is kind of crazy because that still was a big passion I had and right now I'm doing a project that involves music again and I'm like wow that that has always been along the way um, but sports sports has been the twist and the turn that my career has taken that I'm so grateful for that I love it is crazy I mean it's just it it goes to show you wouldn't have thought Never, right never. Now you do have a new podcast, is this right? Yeah. Yes. Can and you that, tell us a little bit about well, that? Well, so that's what it is, and that's what I'm saying. It's um, conversations with country music artists about really? sports. But that's why it, it was born from just sort of this passion of storytelling that I have, and I, I really enjoy hearing the stories behind certain songs. And I think that's exactly what that music review was kind of, it was sort of the same thing. So yeah, so it's been really fun. It's eye-opening, but I think um, it's been a lot of exploring with these different artists what their path has been to get to where they are now. And that's really similar for an athletes too. So I love Now, it. your career, for everyone in SMAD and any journalism and broadcast student, to many of us, you're the goal. Being here at this school. Thank you. So, they should aim higher, though. You should, you know? <laughs> so what is the best piece of advice you can give to all of us that look to your career and look to you to see what we want to do in the future? I think the good place to start is to really think about what your passion is. And the easiest way to think about that is what excites you. 
what is it that excites you? Is there something within a daily assignment that's making you feel excited? For me, when I was here in the studio, I remember doing those interviews, um, you know, like, like we just heard with the incredible musician, right? It's like, I remember getting so excited about the variety and interacting with a co-anchor, yeah? So there was something about that that made me want to follow that, and that's why I first reached out and really tried to, to get to CNN, which is where I had my first entry-level job, right? So following that, whatever it is that excites you is what it is. And then I think figuring out how you can get in touch with somebody there, exhausting every resource you have. Maybe you have a, a random cousin who knows someone that works at, um, with the Nationals, right, if you want to go into sports. It's something like that, um, but really following that. And don't ever listen to anyone that says, well, you can't do that, or you know what, it would really be smarter to do this, because they're not you, you know? You've got to really follow your heart. Well, Lindsay Zarniak. Thank you so much for coming back. We're so thank happy you. to welcome you home. Oh, thank you. And it's so great to be home. Oh. And thank you for putting that awful memory in my head of that wonderful music video that I'll be thinking about for the rest of the day. Music analyst. Lindsay analyst, Zarnia. thank you. Thank there you. you Fantastic. All right, more with John Roberts <laughs> after the break. Thank you. Thanks. Something about the forest, hiking through the woods, looking at